No, Percy. Go away. Don't kill my mouse. Hey guys, it's Sophie. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be watching The Green Mile for the first time. I recently watched The Shawshank Redemption for the channel. If you haven't seen the reaction to this film, go check it out. It was one hell of a ride. And basically everyone screamed at me in the comments to watch The Green Mile next. That's what we're doing today. I feel very compelled to watch this movie because literally everyone recommended it to me. And yeah, people say that it's a roller coaster of emotions. I'm not prepared for it, but I guess it doesn't really matter. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. Before we hop into this video, subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up and follow me on my socials. You all know the drill, the links are in the description as usual. And without further ado, let's watch The Green Mile. Oh my god, Castle Rock Entertainment. Ooh, such a blast from the past. Ooh, that's a lot of guns. Okay, where are we going? What's going on? Okay, we're visibly upset. Like, I think it's serious. Why is this so unsettling? Come on! It's the sounds, you guys. The sounds are making me uncomfortable. But I think it's supposed to be like this. Cora! Katie, Cora? You love your sister. You're making a noise. No, I have your sister. Okay. Yeah, I'm with you, my man. I'm, like, also clueless. Okay, are we in a nursing home? Morning, Mr. Hitchcock. Oh, he's loved by everyone. Okay, we've got a pretty nice reputation here, I guess. Especially on those long walks. Don't let Nurse Godzilla catch you. She'll raise Nurse her. Godzilla? <laughs> That's not a nice nickname. What do you do up in those hills? Just walk. I like to walk. So we've got secrets. Okay, I get it. A red raincoat? <laughs> Come on. Okay, now I think he just loves walking. <laughs> like, if he wanted to keep it a secret, he wouldn't wear a red raincoat. A creepy cabin in the woods? Why are we here? Why do we always watch this stuff? It's interesting. I mean, it's a lot of drama and trash talking. <laughs> of course it's interesting. Okay, something's bugging him. Are you alright? I'm fine, I promise. He's hiding something. The question is what? Okay, this movie's bringing back some memories. I can tell it just by looking at his face. I mean, it's not like the smartest conclusion I've ever made. You know what I mean? Like, it's very easy to deduce. But still, keeping you up to date with what's going on in my head. You're welcome. Oh, it's making him emotional. Come on. What's going on? Paul. Oh, Paul, come on. Was it the film? I haven't spoken of these things for over 60 years. 60 years? Did I mention that I was in charge of death row that I supervised Ooh. all the executions. Oh my god, that's dark. I mean, it does take a toll on you, I imagine. Death row was called the last mile. We called ours the green mile. Floor was the color of faded lime. The fact that they call it the green mile because of the color of the tiles. Damn it. It's the little things like this, you know what I mean? Like, you obviously cope with stress associated with death and like the death row differently. But this just sounds so mundane. It's an interesting touch very interesting touch but it also like it is unsettling john coffee the two dead girls okay i touched upon this issue in my shawshank redemption video and you guys some of you guys got really pissed but i still believe that inmates should be paid for the labor just because a person is trash and they did some horrible horrible shit doesn't mean that they don't deserve to be treated like a human being. Like, we should be better than this, you know what I mean? We should be better than them. Yo, prisons in the 30s looked rough. It's not like the conditions have improved much since then, but look at this. You good, bud? Oh, yeah. The infection. You should've took the day off, gone to see the doctor. Yeah. You arrival, you know better. That looked hella painful. Dead man walking! You might want to reconsider getting in the cell with this guy. He's enormous. Well, yeah, he's big, but, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. It's your job. Can't say no. Dead man walking. We got a dead man walking like, here. Like, yeah, we know. Can you stop? Yes, I boss. I can talk. Oh, what did he do? Why is he on a death row? Move your ass. Let's go. Why? Come on. I swear to God, people get an ounce of power and it changes their brain chemicals. Why did you just hit him? Why don't you go see if they could use some help? Ah, they got all the men they need. 
No, Percy, go. Mm -mm. I don't Ooh. care where you go, Percy, just as long as you're not here at this very moment. That's right. You can leave, Percy. You're not welcomed here. God damn it, Percy, get the hell off my block! Yeah, Percy, nobody wants you here. I'm sorry, bud. That's just what it is. Your name is John Coffey. Yes, sir, boss. Like a drink. Only not spelled the same. He's probably done something really bad, but I immediately sympathize with him. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just about his soft demeanor or something. Do you leave the light on after bedtime? Because I get a little scared in the dark sometimes. Oh my god. He sounds so innocent. I can't. Oh my god, this is making me emotional already. It's like... I just want to be your friend. Okay, I need to know his backstory. What the hell was his life like? I tried to take it back, but it was too late. Oh no. So he did like kill someone. I'm assuming like two girls. He was, he mentioned two girls. The girls, the girls are gone. Have, have kids? A look. Took the kids. <laughs> what? Ah! What Jesus. happened? Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> Shoot! What happens? I'm so confused. I couldn't help it. What do you mean? I tried to take it back, but it was too late. Maybe he didn't kill them, right? Maybe, maybe, maybe somebody else did something horrible to them, and he just he wanted to bring them back. I don't know. I refuse to believe that he's just a cold-blooded murderer. I think someone else did it. You under arrest for murder. Murder. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I just couldn't help it. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's not the time. Okay, stop. Focus. True, you ordered Percy Wetmore off the block. It is. Yeah, he was a piece of now, work. True, your wife of the governor of this state has only one nephew. And his name happens to of be Of course. Good old nepotism. He also mentioned broke three fingers in Edward Delacroix's left hand. I didn't hear that part. Well, regardless, he did that. Poissy has an application in a Briar Ridge. Yeah, with his connections, he could have any state job he wants. Mm, suspicious. Why is he staying here if he can leave? I think he just wants to see one cook up close. He'll get his chance then, won't he? Why would you want to see someone die? Public executions? never made sense to me though people are curious and like interested in all sorts of different things so i guess do i want to know what he did probably not things that happen in this world you don't say you're trying to figure out what's going on in people's heads and you just can't like i'm very into true crime and sometimes you just want to know what's going on in people's heads it's fascinating how people's minds work like why they do what they do, especially when it comes to murder. Yes, the legislature loosened up those price strings enough to hire on a new guy. What? Oh my god. Is this a aw <laughs> so cute. It ain't normal for a mouse to come up on people this way. Oh, the big mouse expert. No, he's actually right. We'll be hip deep in my surround. I here. just wanna see what it'll do. That's a smart one. I also love slightly awkward music in the background. I was not the editor for this movie, but it sure feels like it. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then we just go back. Disappear into the distance. He's making himself a nice little nest. Right, we've got a new inmate, I guess. Go get the damn mouse. Don't kill it, though. Don't kill it. <laughs> yeah, good luck. <laughs> Three grown men. How smarted by a mouse. Yeah, that's funny. Oh, hello, little man. Oh, it's so cute. I'm, I'm sorry. I had a bad mouse once. She lived with me for like two years, I think, and then she died. That was very sad. Now, oh, Percy, go away. Don't kill my mouse. I'm gonna stop your life. Ow, just a mouse, dirty. Yeah. I'm gonna rip your disease head off. You little piece of shit. Percy, I think something is wrong with you. Yeah. We already tried that. Knock yourself out. He was like, we can't stop this man from enjoying himself. He's clearly enjoying himself. That would be rude. Just let him be. You want to think about what you were doing just now? I was trying to get the mouse. 
This is like a Tom and Jerry episode. Entertaining and funny, and you kind of feel bad for the cat. You'd be better to think of this place like as an intensive care ward of a hospital. I think of it as a bucket of piss. Yeah, see, that's your problem. <laughs> Don't, yeah, you try it. Go on, try it. You be on the bread lines before the week is out. I hate people like him. So entitled. I want at least two rehearsals before he gets back. I'm praying, Lord, is my shepherd and so forth and so on. Is this like a standard process? Watch and learn. All right. Get an old electrode. Like the whole like, idea of a rehearsal taking place. It gives me chills. You anything to say before your sentence is carried out? May West sit on my face because I'm one horny motherfucker. How many times has he done all this? We'll be doing this for real tomorrow night. I don't want anybody remembering some stupid joke like that getting going again. Look at him being a professional. Your electricity shall not be passed through your body until you are dead. In accordance with state law. And these are the last words you hear before you die. That's crazy. <laughs> God. This little mouse saga. All right, let's do it again. So funny. Even though this movie is not supposed to be funny. You know, because of the subject matter. Man sincerely repents on what he done wrong. He might get to go back to the time that was happiest. What do you guys think? Do you believe in like forgiveness? Do you believe you can still save your soul? after doing something like very very bad like killing someone or torturing or stuff like that do you believe we have a soul just ate some almonds and now i worry that my cavities are filled with them you know it's probably not the smartest thing to say that my cavities are filled with nuts well i already did that so it is what it is Oh, he's gonna die. Oh, I don't want to see that. All a bit of buck. Electricity shall now be passed. How many people are there? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god, god. Oh, stop. I don't want to see that. Again, watching somebody die. It's insane. I don't get it. Did he not die? Oh, he's yeah. not dead yet. Oh my god. Of us a card from hell. Oh, you're such a menace. Let's know if it's hot enough. What is wrong with you, man? Come on. What's up his ass? You. You. Yeah. Exactly. Oh. Again, literally nobody likes you. Why don't you just get it? I might just take it too. As soon as you put me out front. Put you out front? Yeah. Does he wanna turn the power on? What what does he wanna do? Does he wanna say the words? He's a literal psychopath, okay? Like, it's not just a job for him. He gets the enjoyment out of it. I want brutal spot for next execution. You be rid of me. I swear. Pinky promise? Not if I say no. I might oh, just no. stick around for good. What a literal psychopath. I just hate his character, which I guess is intentional. I mean, of course that is intentional. He's a little piss of shit. <laughs> no. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, the mouse saga is so hilarious to me. Like, why is this movie so funny? Why, why, why is there so much comedy in this movie? Honey, you've got a big storm coming. Mr. Jingle, want to play fetch? Oh my god, you are so <laughs> smart. This is so cute. We ought to find a cigar box, get some cotton batting from the dispensary to line it with. What are you planning to do? Set it on fire? I'm watching you. Al, you want to see me? Yeah. Is this about his wife? It's a tumor, Paul. Yeah. A brain tumor. That's what I thought. Deep inside, where they can't operate. I haven't told her. The fact that she doesn't know is very strange. Like, wouldn't the doctor tell her first? Man, you need to see a doctor. <coughs> see Dr. Bishop. I'm going. Thank you. Thank you. Should have done that a long time ago. You've been declared competent, son. You know what that means? Oh my god. Means you're gonna ride the lightning. Yeah. Leave him the hell alone. I don't understand people like him. I literally cannot. I cannot fathom the idea that you understand that people hate you, that literally nobody likes you, nobody wanna be friends with you, everybody's annoyed with you, and you still continue. Like, you keep going, and he keeps going strong. Like, why? How? Literally doesn't bother him. Careful. What do you know? I don't like this. Is he pretending? Like this guy? Yep. Yes, he is. 
The music gets me. All the time. Like, they really did something with this background music. First, do something. Come on! Be useful one time! You warned me! You warned me! Now he's struggling. No, I'm not buying this. Percy just wants Paul to shoot. That's it. He just want him to shoot the guy. We thought he was doped. Didn't we? Didn't we all of us think he was doped? He kind of tricked you. Well, what about you? You're about ready to collapse. Ah, I got the mile. Till you all come back. Oh, you need to see a doctor. Boss, I need to see a doctor. I really can't right now. John Coffin, not a good time at all. But I need to see you, boss. We can chat. Just to help. What? What is happening? Oh. He wants to help with the infection or something. Are oh, there some like magic spots or something? What the hell is happening? What is going on? Dude, what? What happened? What? 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 What is that? No, he's hallucinating. This can't be real. He's running a fever and he's hallucinating. I helped it. Yeah, we we saw that. Didn't I help it? But like how? I just took it back, so. He didn't kill the girls. He tried to save them, right? He did his like magic tricks. I'm so confused, you guys. I'm so confused. Damn. That's crazy. That's crazy. We haven't gone four times in one night since we were 19. Well, tell me what's going on. Okay, listen. I know it's gonna sound crazy, but there's an inmate and he has magic abilities. Oh, is this the family? The girls? Which clan? John Coffin. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm sure he wants to find out what this man is capable of. And why is he the way he is? Man, his size and color to boot can't be that hard to trick. He tried, like he dropped out of the sky. Wait, he didn't leave any trail? Oh, does this man even exist? Because I'm not sure at this point. Strange. There doesn't seem to be any real violence in him. Yeah, he doesn't seem like a person who would do something like this. One seldom sees a less ambiguous case. He was found with the victims in his arms. Well, they didn't really see him kill the girls. They just saw him with the girls. He could have tried to help them somehow, something like that. He still has the one good eye. Lucky not to be completely blind. Yeah, you should always try to change the way you look at things if you want to survive in this world. You have to, you know, have thick skin. Smelling me some cold breath. It's from my missus. You know, just to thank you for touching my dick and magically healing my UTI. What's your missus, please? several times. Yeah, how about discussing my sex life with an inmate? Can I give Dale Mr. Jingle some? Aww. It's yours, John. That's sweet. Mr. Jingle thank you. My mama will thank you too, but she's dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! What the hell is wrong with you? Sam Rockwell's crazy in this movie. I always wonder how they film this stuff. Must be so weird. Also, just a little side note. So much being in this movie. <laughs> Like, that's so much piss. Come on, fuckstick. No sneaking up on me this time. We'll go make the man. Who do you think you are? Piss on me. <laughs> <laughs> they said, let us clean you up a bit. Just a tiny little bit. No, no, I'll be good. Well, I'll be good. Honest engine, I will. I will. Ooh, solitary. All I wanted me was a little cornbread, you motherfuckers. All I wanted me was a little cornbread. Well, you didn't earn it. You get a nickel for that moon pie. How do you have a nickel? Ooh. <laughs> he devoured this. Oh no, the moon pie. It's still there. It's still there in his mouth, isn't it? <laughs> oh my god. Oh Let's my go. dude. No, You're going no, back to solitary, no, yep. Boy, well, folks heard about your mouse. What's he him for? Not just prison guards either. <laughs> Knock him for a loop, yeah. Knock him for a loop, Dale. Wait, wait, I don't have a good feeling about this. They're not lying to him, are they? Edouard Delacroix, 
Electricity shall now be passed through your body until you are dead. Jesus. In accordance with state law. And that's what the fuss God is God have mercy on your soul. Dude. <laughs> you need to change your priorities. Very good. Very professional. Let's do it again. Congrats, I guess. Oh, I love Mr. James. They laugh over there, they cheer, they... Does he know he's gonna be executed tomorrow? We're happy for you. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Literal psycho. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> what? Just have. Ah! Ah! Fuck your asshole. Then you just. What is that? that thing. <laughs> I mean, nepotism can only get you so far. Like, sure, you got a place in this prison, but what happens here inside these walls? It's just on you. And he's clearly not cut out for this. So basically, Percy is an idiot. Look, hey, you know, prison so <laughs> much being. You talk about this to anyone, I get you all fired. Oh, that's his villain origin story. I mean, he was a villain before, but now, goddamn. Well, what about Dean? He's got a little boy. He loves that with that mouse, I bet. Oh, it's so sad. They have to decide what to do with the mouse. How about Mouse Will? Mouse Will? It's just down the road a piece from the. Dog University. <laughs> this is so funny. Oh no, 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 no! No! You son of a bitch! <laughs> Why would you do that? Well, I knew I'd get him sooner or later. What a freaking psychopath! Give him to me, no. I still be tired. No. That's what he was trying to do with the girls as well. He will try to resurrect the mouse. He will do that. I didn't think this movie will be like, will have the mysterious component in it. I thought it was just real life drama. Well, I guess it's a Stephen King's book adaptation, but still. Who is he? Are we gonna be coughing? Yap? Are those flies? So disgusting. Aww. He's back. <laughs> That's so adorable. The old mouse. Your circus mouse gonna live in a mouse city. Oh my god. To get back to me. Whew. You know better at mouse killing than you are at anything else around here. Ooh, burn. Yeah, you little bitch. Can't even kill a mouse. Aren't you glad Mr. Jingles is okay? What kind of game is this? Well, it's certainly not whack-a-mole. Even though you really wanted to play it. You're playing with me, huh? Both of you. It is who the hell you think you are. I can ask you the same question. Yeah, you stood by while Wild Bill tried to strangle Dean to death about that. People will care, even your uncle the governor. Yeah, you're royally messed up there. It doesn't matter if your uncle is a governor or not. Oh, it's pouring rain and you still got here to watch the execution? You guys are crazy. Boss Ashman, don't let nothing happen to Mr. Jingle, okay? Of course not. I can't have a mouse on my shoulder <laughs> while... I'm on duty. You gonna take him to Florida to that Mobsville? We'll do it together, most likely. <laughs> I love this little fantasy world they created for him. Do you think he knows it's just a story? That it's not true? I mean, it's just easier for everyone to believe in this fantasy. I sure wish I could make you guys some ways out. Uh, it's so hard. Like, I get attached to these characters and for what? For all of them to die? That's gonna happen to John as well? Because I don't want to see it, honestly. Quite frankly, I literally don't want to see it. You have anything to say before a sentence is carried out? I'm sorry for what I do. Well, the question always is, are you really sorry for what you've done? Or is it just you're afraid to die? Death is literally staring at your face and you're just scared. Don't forget about Mouthfield. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> this is so hard. Keep your mouth shut. There's no such place. Stop! It's a fairy tale these guys told you to keep you quiet. Stop! No! <laughs> Percy is such a monster. Why would you do that? Why would you say that? Can you just do what's right? Can you just fucking do what's right? How can a man have such a foul heart? You know, it's never been touched. Yeah. You can see that. <laughs> No, 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 no! I, I can't! Sponge is dry! That's too much! What? Too late for death! He's in agony! Did he feel it? Oh my god! 
Is he feeling it? What in the world is going on? God, he's looking like a firework on the freaking 4th of July! What a terrible way to go! I didn't know the sponge is supposed to be- Oh, away. shut the fuck up! Ah! Yeah, he deserves that. Percy is not what? So he just gets away with it, is that how it works? Yeah, I mean, you know, people who are in charge, sometimes they are literally the definition of psychopaths. Like, they're the worst people on this planet. And somehow they get away with so much shit. It was the same in Shawshank Redemption as well. People like Percy, they're in charge, but sometimes they're worse than the inmates. I got Van Hayden open both doors. But that smell won't go out for five damn years, that's what I'm betting. Yeah, and Percy did all of that on purpose. Like, he knew exactly what he was doing. He's putting in a transfer request to Briar Ridge tomorrow. Moving on to bigger and better things. Yeah, good riddance. Oh yeah, what's up with John? What did he do? Did he try to take away his pain or something? Don't think he'd be back. He felt it too. No. I mean, what is he? He's supposed to represent something. Awful time now, Paul. The juxtaposition between like his job and his home life is crazy. Oh, poor Melinda. She's having one of her good days. She's not herself anymore. She swears. Watching your loved one fade away like this is awful. Y'all saw what he did to the mouth. I could have gone rest of the day without you bringing that up. Of course he wants to discuss it. I mean, guys, it's a miracle. Don't you want to? figure out what's going on? <laughs> like, why are they so reluctant? What's it got to do with us? You're thinking about Melinda. Melinda? Mm. I didn't even think about it. Sneak a sick woman into a sale block? Oh no, no. you're talking about taking John Coffey to her. Now we're talking. This movie is like three hours long, and the first hour was just a bunch of random plot lines, which didn't really make sense. And now I think we're getting close to the main plot line. I hate worse to have a dead child on my conscience. I don't think that's gonna happen. I don't think he did it at all. You know what? I thought that right from the start. You were all there. Well, that's a very tender notion, but the man is on death row for the crime. So what? It was decided by the jury. It's all subjective after all. Come on, let's do this. Tell us what you had in mind. Yee, that's my boy. You think this is enough? I don't know. Oh, you guys are prepared. I'm gonna get some too, ain't I? What makes you think you deserve any? Day report says he's been okay. I love the way they trick him. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on now, fellas. They set up a perfect trap. Come on, boss. I've been good, I've been good all day. I can't get it with the music, I can't. <laughs> come on now, don't be that away. I'll be good. Okay. Bottoms up then. Look at him, so proud of himself. I hope they don't kill him. They clearly didn't know their doses. Percy, ah! 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 there's four of them. It's just simple math. You don't stand a chance, my man. You should know when to give up, you know what I mean? Here we go for the ride now. That's right, we going for the ride. You know what? A very random side note. But they showed me cornbread, right? And I want cornbread now. I can't stop thinking about it. I want cornbread. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. How? What? What is he doing? What did he do? He just knocked him out with his mind. So can he, like, feel people? Read their emotions, their past, maybe? He's so childlike. You know where we're taking you tonight, hippie lady? Hmm. That's right. How? How does he know? Who the hell goes there at 2.30 in the goddamn How? morning? It's, it's us. It's, it's Paul. Wait, they didn't tell him? It isn't a lockdown, is it? All right. No. Hal forgot. They didn't tell him? I thought they talk it through, I don't know. Oh my god. Now that's a plot twist. We are here to help. Help what? You're just gonna you're gonna have to trust me. Imagine your co-workers is just showing up on your porch like this in the middle of the night. No explanation. But what if 
What if she's too far gone? I see it. <gasps> he's literally sucking this tumor out of her. I hope he's not a dementor and he's not like sucking the soul out of her. Something is wrong. She died, didn't she? Oh. Oh no, she did it. Thank God. It worked. They did it. Oh, she's so beautiful. Look at her. So pretty. I'm so happy for them. Can you stand up? Can you turn around and see this lady? He didn't cough it out. What's your name? John Coffee Mail. Just like the drink? Like the drink. Oh no. She remembers. I dreamed you were wandering in the dark. What? And so was I. And we found each other. <sighs> Take it, John. It's a present. It's St. Christopher. I want you to have it, Mr. Coffey. Something tells me they're still gonna execute him in the end. And that's just... that's just not fair. You're never sitting on Sparky. You know that, don't you? He swallowed that stuff for a reason. Yeah, he didn't cough it out. That's bugging me. I don't like it. I don't want him to die. Oh. Yeah, that's right. He's not gonna be happy. We know people too. <laughs> yeah. Are you so foolish you don't realize that? Yeah, he is. He's a dumb motherfucker. I'm sorry. I intend to think it over very hard. Starting right now. I don't like the way he said it. Oh. Oh. What are you doing? Is he transferring the tumor back into him? What is happening? That's exactly what he's doing! Are you kidding me right now? That's hard. My man. Like, I'm legit shocked. Are you alright? No, I don't think so. Honey, Boo, I think he's dying now. What you looking at? Is a... no! What is happening? Radical. Are you for real? Dude, that escalated so freaking quickly. What is this stuff? Did the flies make him do it? What happened? I punished them bad men. Punish them both. Who are you to decide, though? Take my hand, boss. Is it safe? Maybe I don't want to do that. <laughs> oh. Was it the dad? It was him? What the fuck? And he's sitting on a death row because of what this man did. Crazy. You love your sister. You're making a noise. Do what happens. <laughs> This is so hard. This is so hard to watch. Well, he did end up in a mental hospital after all. Briar Ridge, of course. The irony. Another couple of days. Anything special you want to eat for dinner that night? A dark soul or two? He asks me why did I kill one of his true miracles. What am I going to say? That it was my job. I mean, kinda, yeah. You tell God the Father it was a kindness you done. No, no, no. I want it to be over and done with. Yeah, he must be so tired. That's what he keeps saying. I'm so tired, I'm so tired. Imagine like how exhausting it is to just take care of everybody's problems. I'm tired of all the pain you feel in here in the world every day. There's too much of it. Pieces of glass in my head all the time. Yeah, there's so much pain. See me a flicker show. I'm in heaven. <laughs> That's the same movie. Oh, not him smiling like this. Can we just stop? I don't want to watch it till the end. Dreamed of my tail to my house. <laughs> then you, John. I knew it would come back. Those two little blonde headed girls is there. They's laughing too. <laughs> I can't. There's lots of folks here that hate me. I feel how we feel then. We don't hate you. 
Yeah, there are people who are grateful for you. I'm sorry for what I am. You don't have to be. Don't put me in the dark. <laughs> I was afraid of the dark. <laughs> oh my god. Stop. Ooh. Oh my god. This is so hard to watch. Nobody wants to start. They can they can do it. You have to. Come on, Paul. Oh, that's how it is every day. All over the world. <laughs> Did they just exchange thoughts? What the hell? On two. <laughs> oh my god. I literally have no words. I'm so sorry. I'm just such a mess. So was he just a man? Who was he? How did he get his powers? It's just that... It's quite a story. It's quite a story. Hell yes it is. Wake up. Please. Mr. Jingles. That can't be Mr. Jingles. Dude, don't you think there's enough pain for me? Bienvenue au Cirque de Mousy. Uh, I don't want to cry again. Stop. We make do. Don't we, old fella? Oh, <laughs> I don't know why I'm crying. Whatever magic was inside of him just slipped into my tiny friend here. Oh, that's why he was able to leave for that long. He infected you with blood? It's a good word as any. <laughs> that's one way to put it. I've had to see my friends and loved ones die off through the years. Yeah, his wife, probably. You will die too. And my curse. Is knowing that I'll be there to see it. Yeah, I mean, it's a blessing and a curse. Oh, I'll die eventually. Oh, okay. In truth, I wish for it already. It's so sad. I think about all the people I've loved now long gone. She's so depressing. So lonely. Sometimes the green mile seems so long. Wow. Well, that was one hell of a story. Honestly, this movie was not what I expected at all. Like, I had no idea it had to do with, like, magic powers. That was very surprising for me to see. But also, like, I didn't expect it to be so emotional. Like, I was so invested in the story, and I got so attached to the characters, obviously. And I cried a lot, which I didn't expect. The way they did it, it differs from the way they did it in The Shawshank Redemption, for example. Even though the subject matter is pretty much similar, I would say. Like, both of the movies deal with innocent man being in prison for something they didn't do. Obviously, in the Shawshank Redemption, it was just... Um, it, there was no death sentence, so the stakes are higher in this movie, that's for sure. But they are kind of similar, and it's, it's really interesting to compare the two, even though I don't really want to do that. But it's always interesting to see how they portray inmates uh, in movies like this, because again, as I mentioned in my Shawshank Redemption video, I do believe that people should always be treated like people, like human beings. And it's not because I feel bad for these people, but because I think that we should stay human. You know what I mean? It reflects on you too, the way you treat people. But yeah, that was very hard to watch. Um, I cried like multiple times and it's just such a sentimental movie. Even though it didn't start out like that, like it was kind of funny <laughs> at the beginning, especially with like music choices. It was kind of goofy at times, but yeah, it got more and more real. It got more and more serious. The ending just broke me. I don't know, the last like half an hour of this movie is brutal. It's just so brutal. But yeah, I guess I'm gonna leave it here. If you guys have any suggestions for the movies I should watch next, please leave them down below in the comment section. I always read the comments and yeah, if you guys enjoyed this reaction, please subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye guys.